Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. And everyone. Good evening. How are you doing today? Good, good, teacher. Very good. How about you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. How was your day? Uh, better, teacher. Really better. Yesterday with uh, body pain, but uh, I take a couple of pills and I will be uh, I will be uh, better. Okay. That is nice. That is good that, that you are better. Okay, good. Uh, well, we're, we're going to start a class. Uh, today is Wednesday, August 23rd. Uh, this is the class number three. So we're going to continue. Well, today we have a lesson objective. We have a reading revision. We're going to check the read, the, the writing. Okay, and we have a conversation at the end. Also, we are going to continue practicing uh, superlatives, adjectives, I'm sorry, comparative adjectives and conjunctions, not superlative yet. I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. Comparative. Okay, I have an exercise here that is related to a restaurant, okay? Phrases that normally a customer says and phrases that a waiter or waitress says in order to, to help you, okay? Number one, this one, which one, uh, who said that? Who do you consider that says, are you ready to order? The waiter, the waiter. Okay, good. Okay, and what are the specials? Customer. Customer, okay. Could you bring us more bread, please? Customer. Okay, customer. Uh, we need a table for three. Customer. Okay. Customer. Maybe this is first here. Okay. Can I get anything to drink? Uh, wait, 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 wait. 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 Okay. Okay. Can I help you to today, tonight? Wait. Waiter, waiter. The waiter, waitress. Okay. I'll have grilled uh, salmon with salad. Customer. Customer. Okay. Should I take your order? Waiter. Waiter. Okay. Very good. So phrases that normally you can use. Okay. When uh, when you go to a restaurant and the phrases that you can listen to the waiter or waitress saying. Okay, very good. So, we're going to continue. Good job here. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to move on to the reading. Thank you so much, everyone, because you work on it. Okay, let me see. Um, Gilberto Santa Marina says, uh, my favorite restaurant is Papa John. Okay, pizza. It's pizza Papa John's. Okay. Uh, period here, right? For 
it's better ingredients than Pizza Hut, okay? My son like Pizza Hut and Chinese, Chinese what? Yeah. What do you mean? Chinese word. Chinese word? Fish. It is like, uh, um, what do you want to say with what? Eh, comida china. If okay. China work. China, china work. China work. China work. China work. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Is there a name of the restaurant? The name of the restaurant. Okay. Okay. So Chinese food, you can say, okay? Okay. Chinese food. Okay. Uh, but very exp expensive. But it is very expensive, okay? And my daughter like chicken, al pastor, or pizza hut. Also, my wife like chicken or fish. Okay. Try to um fix why you why you need to fix to to have a better re, better writing, okay? Hazel, thank you, Gilberto. Hazel says, I love the uh Pomodoro restaurant. They have an special menu of pasta. My favorite appetizer is the parmesan asparagus. And for the main dish, nothing better than the uh, parmigiana chicken breast. Okay. For the desserts, nothing is better than the tiramisu. It is bigger than the other restaurants. Okay. What is located at restaurant, Hazel? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, it's located in, in San Benito. Mm, okay. Yes, uh, close to the new plaza. I don't remember the name, but uh, for the... Millennium. Uh, Millennium. President Hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah. About the service is really good and waiters are, are nicer than other places. Okay. Okay, good service and good food. Okay. Restaurant El Tecolote, says Katy. It is located in the center of the Zacatecoluca. They offer, okay, they offer a variety of food, for example, barbecue meat, Chicken, pork ribs, also hamburgers, and nachos. The prices are affordable and the food is delicious. I like the atmosphere because it is on the terrace and the decoration is very nice. They offer service to eat there, home delivery, and events can also be held. Oh, that is nice. So you can make a reservation for a lot of people? No. No reservation. Okay. Rodrigo says, Tala de gente unos minutos. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> Very good. Andres says, I prefer Panda Food restaurant because they give you more food than China Walk. So we can eat more. And in my opinion, the orange chicken is better dish than Dragon Red. Okay. If you visit this restaurant, uh-huh. I guess he's missing here an idea. 
uh, um, Andres, if you visit this restaurant, you will have a great experience. Okay. Besides, comma, the panda food is smaller than China work. The panda food has better prices than the competition. So you can eat if you don't, if you don't, uh huh. If you don't have enough money, the panda food restaurant doesn't have a lot of uh succursals. Okay, it's missing the le the letter S, but they have many people that work delivery, that work for delivery. Okay, so you can order your food everywhere in the country. Mm, well, everywhere in the country, I don't know. Maybe in everywhere in in San Salvador. I don't know if they have or or in other places that they have, but I don't know. If I order from Cabañas, I don't know if they go if they will go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <It's> possible. <laughs> Possible, I don't know. I'm not sure. In the future, teacher. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh says Mauricio says one of my favorite restaurants is La Pampa El Volcan because there is a rich weather and they are specialists in steak. They have an special attention and a friendly personal in a friendly personal service. Okay, remember punctuation, Mauricio. It's missing punctuations here. No commas, no okay. periods. Yes. On the menu, you can find a lot of variety of food and, be and beverage. In my opinion, mm -hmm. it's one of the best restaurants in El Salvador. Okay, good. Just punctuation is missing, okay? Be careful with that. Okay. Uh, Sylvia says, my favorite spelling here, my favorite restaurant spelling again, is the Doña Maurita. The food is delicious, the customer service, uh -huh. Comba, the first quality. The popular drink is lemonade with yerba buena. Okay, how we say yerba buena in English? Yerba buena in English. It's oh my god, it is really slow. I don't remember, but let me see my cell phone. It's pepper meat. Pepper mind. I'm sorry. Pepper Pepper, pepper, pepper is teacher. Cambia entonces. Yes. Um normally you can just you can say just uh, mint because it's it's like uh, the the short name. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want to translate it, yes, you can say peppermint. Peppermint. Oh, peppermint. I'm sorry. Peppermint. It's mint, like a mint. Okay. Peppermint. Mint. Peppermint. Uh huh. But if that is um. A specific name in the restaurant, we cannot change that. Okay. Okay. The special is seed food. I I got like a bigger parking. I like I like a good bigger parking lot. No, it um, it has maybe. Okay, it has, porque estamos hablando que el lugar tiene a uh, parking lot, right? 
It doesn't have a delivery service. The sala is good. The it has a big place. Um, the restaurant is very big. You can say. Okay, be careful. Be careful with um the ideas that you develop in the writing. Okay, let me see. Carlos Roberto says, um, my favorite restaurant is called La Bendición. This restaurant offers a variety of food, dishes, and prices are very affordable. The food is very delicious. Okay, good. The prices are cheaper than other restaurants. And if you order takeout, they have excellent service because they are on time. And the, and the food arrives warm. In my opinion, it is a good restaurant where it has extensive facilities, where it has, uh, it has the first and second floor. You can eat in the restaurant or you can order to take away. This restaurant is located in Low Waters Colon. The prices are very affordable because a plate is around from five to six dollars. And when you try the food, you will like it. Okay, here uh, you will like it a lot. Okay, remember punctuation, okay? That is important and you will be delighted. For this reason, my favorite re restaurant is called La Bendición and is located in Lourdes Colón near on the central Lourdes. Punctuation there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Daniela. My favorite restaurant is called Don Ramon Tacos. They have a very large variety on the menu from tacos to burritos and Mexican tortas. All of the good prices, all, all at a good price. Prices. The dishes are very cheap and super delicious. It is a very nice place with a beautiful view. The staff is very educated and delicate when serving you. The food doesn't take away, does not take away. You don't have to wait for many hours. It's highly, I highly recommend this restaurant. It is one of my, ba my best in Arce City. Okay. Just be careful with punctuation too. Okay, uh, La, ba La Bahia restaurant distinguishes itself not only through its charm and seaside location in La Union Bay, but also through its superior quality and reasonable prices compared to other establishments. The elegant um, decoration, maybe? and student ambience make it a more appealing choice. Okay, good job using the, the words that we learned in the previous classes. The array of ditches is truly impressive, ranging from fresher seed food to more exquisite meat. Sitting it apart from the competition, the service is efficient, and friendly, and the value for money is undeniable. So, while some wedding signs and, and budget, vegetarian options may be limited, the overall experience for Bustard by serene ocean view outshines thus Peter, those min minors sit back. Up trying to minor sit back. Ideal for romantic dinner, family gathering, or, fr or friendly get together. La Bahia stands as an excellent option that offers exceptional culinary experience without the exorbitant price. Okay, that 
is really good. Julio, did you copy and paste information from internet? Yes or not? I have a problem with it, my internet. Sure. Oh, Carlos. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, in case um, you cannot listen to me or I cannot listen to you, I will know the reason, okay? Uh, Julio is here or, or is not here? Julio? No, right. Okay, but it seems that he copied and paid information from the internet. I don't know. Well, uh, let me see. Maria Leticia says restaurants, Los, she, Los Michecas is my favorite restaurant for a wide variety, variety of dishes, some richer than others. The best things about this restaurant, it's home delivery service that is very efficient to pamper its customers the soft drink is included, but not to serve you. Better, you have to to place your order before 11 a.m. Okay, okay. I guess they have a lot of clients. They, that is why you need to place the order in advance. That's good. Punctuation, be careful with that, uh, Maria Leticia. Okay, lady says, my favorite restaurant is El Mirador, Monseñor Romero. This restaurant have a landscape incredible. The menu is very delicious and the attention is better than other places. The prices are accessible to customers, so the desserts are wonder. I really love love this place it's not necessary to add it here because you are saying this place lady okay just i really love this place okay Okay, Mauricio Benavides, he says, I, pre uh, I prefer, no, I'm, okay? I prefer eat pizza or hamburgers, okay? Or for prices, reasons. So, do you eat too much pizza? You're going to be fat, so stop eat too much both of them like here will be better if okay si tu comes if you eat a lot of pizza you are going to be fat so uh, stop eating it okay or eating this kind of fast food okay hamburger are not good for are no good or nor pizza. Okay. I prefer delivery, I guess. Delivery food on weekends. For have more spend more time at home. For have having more time at home okay try to make try to uh, make sure how you structure the sentences okay try to uh, look for the uh, the sense buscarle sentido okay to the meaning buscarle sentido a la oración al significado because if uh, if we don't do that probably the the reader who is reading your message will have problems to understand. 
Okay, try to make it easier for the reader. Okay, Rodrigo says, mm -hmm. my favorite restaurant is Sushi Bar named Sushi Bites. They offer a variety of flavors and form of sushis. Some are cheaper than others because some has much more ing ingredients and make them more delicious than the rest. So, when I have some extra dollars in my pocket, ha, huh, it was not, it was not fixed. Yesterday I read some of them, and I told you you can it it did then. Okay, you can fix the mistakes. So your homework for today will be fix the mistakes. But that will be homework, okay? You're going to fix the mistakes that we discussed today. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to check then again when you are ready um, fix the feedback. I mean, the mistakes. Take into account the feedback. Okay, I guess I read for Sofia yesterday. And Carlos, you already... Carlos, this is the only one that you wrote. This is the, Did you didn't complete it yesterday? Carlos, he's not here. Oh, he told me that I was having issues with the internet. Okay, but Carlos, you can improve this one, okay? Because it's very short. So for the rest... Present, teacher. Present, present. Okay. Improve uh, this one. Do it longer. Hágalo más largo, okay? Um, include more information about that restaurant. So tomorrow I'm going okay. to read them uh... again. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. Try to take Teacher, uh give me one try to the structure the paragraph, please uh, review my my uh, example. Yes. In this moment. It says my favorite restaurant is Keck's place in Santa Ana. Santa Ana, remember that uh has capital letters okay santa ana because it's okay. a proper name okay uh, uh then if you have a period capital letter here on like this that? occasion uh-huh mm -hmm. good i wanted to have a salad and a lemonade my wife wanted to wanted the same but she preferred a sort of for drink and you can add more information related to the restaurant well, you yes, can, yes it's... you can give us more information about uh, the dishes that they have and the prices and how is the environment in the restaurant and everything. Okay. Teacher, uh give me one example using yet. Yet. Yes. You can say, um there is a there is a new dish. That will that is like a in in process, but mm -hmm. is not available yet. It is like in process of the production. I don't know. Uh it's va a estar como en lanzamiento, something like that, right? But it's not available yet. No está todavía. No, no está no. listo todavía. Uh -huh. Yet. Uh, uh, is used at the end of the sentences, okay? It means that it's uh, no es ah. no. Todavía no. But at the end of the sentence. 
always uh, you put that in the sentence. If I ask you, for example, uh, for example, you are typing, you are writing. If I ask you, Carlos, okay, is your paragraph uh ready? You can tell me. I am still writing, teacher. It's not ready yet. Okay, no está todavía. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. So we're going to continue if you, you don't have questions. Okay, when you go to a restaurant, what is, uh, what, what do you usually um, order at the beginning before the main dish? What is your favorite start? starter? Have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? That is the other question. What was the menu like in the, in the all-you-can-eat restaurant? Volunteers to answer this question? Desserts. Yes? Favorite start dish is desserts. Starter. A starter is um when you okay, it's the first order in some restaurant they all offer that like a bocadillos, bocaditos, I don't know. Before the main dish. Okay, antes del plato principal, so you request an order, for example. What is your favorite starter? Mm -hmm. It's the pen teacher, the pen of, of the restaurant you, you can visit. Okay. Maybe a salad or mozzarella sticks. Okay. Good. Nachos on Mexican food. Oh, okay. Nachos. If you go from our bar restaurant, uh, pieces of meat. Okay, pieces of meat. Good. In my opinion, teacher, if when I visit the restaurant in the in the beach, um, my starter place is, um, is a cocktail, mm -hmm. and after that, a uh, a fish with with rice, for example. Okay, good. It depends on the restaurant, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice. Have you gone uh to a place um all you can eat? Yes, I have. I remember three years ago I visited a restaurant in the United States. The restaurant's called Sisi Pizza. Um you can eat all all different different pizzas. For example, for example, for you example. can order you can, you can order a uh, a pizza of chief or pepperoni or different. And okay. you can you can eat all pizzas you you want it. And the prices is around fifteen dollar per person. Fifteen dollars per person. It's not it's not too expensive, right? For the ones that eat a lot. Are really good. It's really good. <clears throat> okay. Um. Someone else? Experience yes. that you may have. I For have... me, it... sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can begin, Jason. <laughs> it's For good. For me, it's great. Unan, 
uh, it's, it's around the uh, Mas Ferrer and it's great because it's Chinese food, but it's very delicious and you can sit there to the 11 a.m. to the 2 or 3 p.m. so you can eat whatever you want, including uh, the dessert. Okay. And how much do you pay there? <clears throat> um, I think it's eleven dollars, but it's it's a lot of food. Believe me, trust me, it's a lot of food. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you, Andres. What about you? I have three options where you can visit it. One of more expensive than the other ones. I think that is um, cheaper. And the first thing is, that's more or more expensive is um, the Cameroon. I have experience visit visited this place. I know that it's expensive, but uh, in the 24 hours that you visit the place, you can have some option for you can ha have a lot of a snack in the place mm -hmm. and you can eat a lot of a snack. And when you will have to when 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 it's time to to take your lunch or your breakfast, you can you can take it whatever you want. For example, if you want to eat pupusas, beans, and tamales, or another food, you can put in your dish whatever you want. So it's a a good experience if you visit this place. Another option if that is in front of Metro Center. I know that everybody knows, I think, and lot uh, Intercontinental Hotel. If you want to have a, a good lunch or breakfast, I don't know if someone knows that with $15, you can eat whatever you want to. <laughs> and in the breakfast or in, or in the lunch, you can go with $15 and you can eat many things. And the other thing, or the other place, is like I told you on Monday, yeah. and Lourdes, um, is located Lourdes Colón, that is famous, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little famous. That is uh, the all-you-can-eat pupusas from $3. $3. Mm -hmm. $3. Yeah, so <laughs> that is, that is uh, perfect. So you can go there for $3, uh, and you can eat. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, teacher, I, I can't can can hear you very well. Can you hear me now? Yes, uh, I listen to you like a robot. I don't know if my connection yes, is. Yes, my connection. yeah. Yeah, like I a robot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Can you hear me better now? Mm, not yet. Sorry, sure. Maybe no? bots. No. Maybe because it's raining. Yes, yes. Uh, I had a bad internet, it's very slow. So yeah. sometimes se traba por ratos. Hey, now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now it's, it's good. It's better, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's my headset. I don't know. Okay. okay. Yes, I was saying that that it, that place, the poop. Pupuseria, as you say, as you said, for three dollars is really nice. It's really good because uh, um, if you go to Los Planes, so you will spend more than three dollars, I guess, to eat pupusas, and maybe yeah. yeah, you don't you don't have the opportunity to eat whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, but. But it's different, teacher, because if we visit, for example, Los Planes, we just we, we don't pay just for the for the food. It's more to the for the for the location, place for the place. for the sea, yeah, mm -hmm. for the location for yeah, yeah, because I they think. are really expensive there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Andres. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, now, uh, there is a conversation here. I need volunteers to read the conversation. Let me teacher. 
Okay, Be Carlos, here. Andres, Robert, Gilberto. Okay, please keep your hands raised. And I will I will be calling one by one. I mean two and two. Let me see. Okay, first will be uh Carlos. Okay, teacher. And Maria Leticia. Go ahead. Okay, uh Mary, I will be Nancy and you are Jennifer. Right. Okay. Okay. How well are the new menu items we? The main fish and ship courses are done great. Ninety-nine. No sé cómo se dice el por ciento. Ninety-nine percent. Percent. Ninety-nine cent. Per percent. 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 Of people like the, the new lemon cake line is not doing very good, very well. Only 35% of our customer like it. Light. Let me, light. Like. Let me check the all night pool for recent products. Yes, just like you say, it seemed the new natural snack are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to re revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Thank you. Okay. Good. Repeat. Um, courses. Courses. Mm -hmm. Because it's plural, right? Course. You can say cursed if that is singular, but if that is plural, courses. Course. Okay. Courses. Yes. Courses. Yes. Percent. Percent. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Robert and Andres, please. Okay. Okay. Of course, man. We are ready. Okay, how well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online poll for recent products. Yes, July, you say it seems it the new nacho snack are doing great. 80 percent of customer like them probably we only have to revi revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well okay thank yes. you oh, thank you since not many people reacted well okay teacher i have a question what's mean chips Chips. Mm -hmm. The like... main fish and chips course are doing great 90-90%. Chips. Chips. In this case, uh, it referred to courses. It mm -hmm. is like... Um... Like a fr fried fries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. yeah, like a chip. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. it is talking is about fish. fish. Like a rice. Chips. <laughs> uh-huh. Like a French fries. French fries, okay. Yes. Chips. Correct. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Do you know what what is poles? Uh, just like a encuesta. 
Mm -hmm. False. False for recent products, correct. Okay. Online polls, right? In this case. Online there are polls. a lot of restaurants they have online polls. Do you have a um QR? Right? That you can use to to, to complete these online polls. They have a QR. Okay, good. Let me see. Gilberto, you will be next. And Daniela. Okay, Daniela. Hey, really? Or Nancy, Nancy or Jennifer? You will be Nancy, Gilberto, and Daniela, Jennifer. All right. How well, how do the new menu eating doing? doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. them. The new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online poll for recent products. Yes, you like you say, it's saying the new natural snack are doing great. 80 of customers like it then. Probably we only have to re revise the lemon cake since not many people reacted well. Revise. Thank you, Daniela. You're welcome. Repeat, revise, Daniela. Revise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay, Mauricio and Julio now. Okay. okay. How well are the new menu items doing? Uh, the main fish, uh, fish and chicks courses are doing great. 99% uh, of people like them. Uh, then the new lemon cake, cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our, of our customers like, the, like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you say, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of customers liked them. Uh, probably. Uh, we only had to revise the lemon cakes uh, since not many people reacted well. Okay, good. Product. Repeat that. Um, Product. What is it? Product. Products. Mm -hmm. Products. Products. Okay. Okay, very good. Good job. Product. Thank you so much. Do you have questions about this conversation? No? Okay, good job. Teacher, excuse yes. me, in the first sentence when Nancy says, how well are the new menu IT doing? I, I, I don't know what is the, the, the sense. The sense. In Spanish, or I don't know. I don't understand. I don't como, get it. Como le va? O sea, es como, ajá, como, como te está yendo con, o como nos está yendo con este menú. Okay, when I ask you, how are you doing? No le pregunto qué está haciendo usted. Les, uh, how are you doing? Le estoy preguntando cómo te cómo le va, cómo te va. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh -huh. O sea, le pregunta It's... por 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 el nuevo item, lanzamiento, digamos, de, de, de los uh -huh. del menú o algo así. ¿no? Del product, yes. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Good. 
Thank you so much. Someone else? Questions about this? Okay, let me continue. So here we have online polls, March. This is an example, okay? The, that is a good strategy that restaurants use to create these online polls. Fish and chips, okay? You can see there the percentage. Lemon cake, that is the lower percentage, okay? And lashes. Mm -hmm. Look at the graphic. And, and the conversation before. Write the percentages next to the products. Compare your answer with your partner. Okay. New, the new lemon cake line, the new national snack, fish and chips make course. Which of the three products has the highest, the highest percentage of acceptance? Which one? Fish and chips. Uh -huh, fish and chips. Okay. Yes. Okay. What is the percentage of uh lemon cake? Lemon cake. Thirty percent. Like about thirty percent or thirty two maybe. Okay. Sorry. Thirty eight. Okay. Uh, what is the percentage of Nash snacks? Mm -hmm. 35. 35? Okay. Or 80, according to the the according to the graphic is 80 80 percent and the fish and chips a hundred percent okay if you have a business or it's or or one day you have a business right that will be good to do this kind of online polls to see um how is 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 that or the product that you have right um how it's working with people so that will be a good idea to have this kind of polls okay good job um now we have a building vocabulary here. We have a starters, okay, a snacks, make courses, and make courses that mean that the main dishes, okay, the desserts and drinks. Okay, we are going to add all the uh, vocabulary that you can see here in each charter in each space or each category, okay? I will give you, okay, three minutes. Try to uh, locate each category and the name for each one, okay?
Let me know when you are ready. And also you can add your favorite item if you want. That is not here. Your favorite, like your favorite starter, your favorite snack, your favorite makers, your favorite dessert, your favorite drink. Okay, Robert, for you, tell me the items or the name of the starters that you have. Fresh onion soap. Okay, fresh onion soap. What else? Green salad. Green salad. Okay. We have here potato soup. And what will be other uh start that you can add? One of your favorites. Nachos. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Gilberto. Uh, what about you? Tell me about the snack. Uh, the snack, one pasta, one pasta, the mix. The ones that we have here? Pastel the mix. Uno uh, yes. pastel de, de carne. Okay, but that is the one that you are going to add, right? So, the ones that are here. En el vocabulario que vemos arriba, ¿cuál está en esta categoría? Snatch. Yeah, look. Where is, where are the items in the snacks? In the starter, show the fish. Okay, we have here a chicken sandwich. Okay, what will be other that you will add in this category? It will be the cheese and tomato sandwich too? Uh, German saucy and chic very well and you said and also the one that you will add is the pastel, el pastel de carne as you said that will be like a meat pie okay meat pie, pie. Mm -hmm. meat okay pie. yes Carlos what will be in the meat courses Okay, I will be as um uh, fish and potato. Fish and potato, uh huh. Yes. The grilled uh -huh. fish and potato, uh huh. 
I have what yes, else? real grilled fish and potato and the tea and the chicken that Thai chicken and rice. Uh huh. Yes. Good. Um, and what what other what I mean what kind of other uh, main sort courses do you have? Um, I don't know. And uh, maybe French uh, onion soup. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. One of your favorites that you can add that are not there. Uh, mentioned in this in this paragraph. Mm, no others that you can oh, mention. Ah, um, I don't know. Maybe um. Uh, <laughs> Uh, meat barbecue with rice. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Volunteers? Another volunteer? Sophia, are you there? Sophie? Sophie's not there. Maria Leticia. Dessert. What about okay. the desserts? Um, drink. English tea. Mm, no. Tell me about the desserts. Oh, lemon cake. Lemon cake. And fruit salad and cream. Okay. What else that you can add? Um. <laughs> One of your favorite desserts. Um. Uno que no lleve azúcar. <laughs> okay. The napkins. <laughs> okay. That is really sad, right? But when we cannot eat desserts. Well, um, drinks. Volunteers to answer this category? English tea. English tea. What else? Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Mm -hmm. Beers. <laughs> of course. <Okay. laughs> that is one of milk. your favorites. <laughs> yeah. But... Beers. <laughs> okay. A, a big bottle of beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> we know. Or, okay. or or wine, maybe. Or wine, uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Well, good. Thank you so much, guys, for your participation. Um, And the ones that didn't participate, but you already uh, have them, okay? Good. Uh, now we're going to work in groups. We're going to organize a menu, okay, for a fast food restaurant in your city. Okay, um, try to take examples maybe from Pizza Hut, from, um, I don't know, Wendy's or another restaurant that is fa that they have fast food, okay? The menu will need to have five categories, okay? Appetizers, snack, makers, desserts, and drinks. Similar with this one. Okay. Um, let me see. Each category should feature three or four items. Okay. You can use any uh, program to do this. You are free to use any program, okay, to do this menu. So I will give you, because maybe you will need time to do that, I will give you 20 minutes. From 20 minutes is okay, 20 to 25 minutes. 
I will do the um the breakout rooms in order you can work on it. Thinking in the name of the Take restaurant. Care. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, we are using the the same item or or maybe use Different. the oils. You can use the you can add cider, more. Salad and soaps or, or. Yes. You can uh, use some of them, but also you can add more that you know. Okay. Okay. Imagine that you will have a restaurant, okay, that you are new, that you are working together, and you are going to have uh, the new menu for customers, okay? Try to create that um, menu. And then we are going to to read all of them and then we're going to choose the best one okay it will be like a mm, like a challenge okay who we'll create the best restaurant okay, okay good not necessary with uh, fast food uh it's in general restaurant food. well let's do it like that in order you can have more options so you will have like uh if you want to create a fast food restaurant it's okay if you want to okay. create a, a different restaurant it's okay you 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 choose the <clears throat> the kind of restaurant okay well thank you Tisha. yes okay just I want to confirm, let me see. Rodrigo, uh, are you available? Rodrigo? I guess there are some people that are not available. Roberto, are you available? Or is it still raining where you are? Sorry, Roberto, sorry, Roberto. I guess he's not listening to me. Oh, okay, let me take note. Okay, Rodrigo. Robert. Sofia, are you there? Sofía Crespo. Sí me escuchan, ¿verdad? Yes, sí, teacher. Ya me preocupé yes, que no teacher. me escuchan. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ladies still sick. Okay, Katy está también como de oyente. Okay, we have available only Mauricio, Uruca, Gilberto, María Leticia, Carlos, Andrés, Rolando Danilo. Julio Aristides, Mario, Mauricio Benavides, and Daniela. Daniela, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. We don't have uh, Rodrigo, Roberto, Sofia, Lady, and Katy. They are not available. Okay. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you're going to create three groups. Two groups. Three students. And one group. Only two. Okay, because the other ones are not available. Hmm. Okay, Andres, Carlos, and Daniela, you will be group number one. Group number two will be Gilberto, 
Julio, la María Leticia. Group number three, Mauricio Benavides and Mauricio Bruca. Rolando Danilo, are you available? Yes, teacher, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, you will work with Mauricio Benavides, Mauricio Buruca, and Rolando, okay? Okay, teacher, okay, thank you. Okay, let me open the rooms. Andres, can you hear me? Andres, hello. Garlic, garlic bread, green salad, grilled mushrooms, mushroom. vegetable soap, onion ring, pasta salad, Cornish pasty. Cornish pasty. Cornish pasty. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me, what's me? Cornish pasty. What is the meaning of Cornish pasty? Pasty, yes. Cornish, C O R N I S H. It is like um, pastelitos. Ah, uh, really? Uh, Cor como Cornish empanadas. Pasty. Mm -hmm. Cornish pasty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's like that, yeah. Empanada. Ah, yes. It's like a. Ajá, pastelito. Yeah. Eh, pastel. Pero no, no es dulce, sino que es un dessert salad. Dessert. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like a uh, with meat in... inside. Inside, yes. Yes, inside, yes. yes. Uh, how do you say bocadillo, teacher? Bocadillo. Dessert. Uh, the starters. Start, go? The starters. Starters. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Starters, okay. I think that is good. Um, this menu. Um, it is work. salty starter. Excuse me, Robert, uh, Andres? I think that is good, the menu. Ah, okay. Okay. Maybe we, we can use like that 
right? Um, like a get idea. Okay. Okay. Main courses: spaghetti, uh, main love, grilled chicken, lasagna. With chicken. Are you working, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Papa horneada, huh? It's like, yeah, it's like, um, uh, and you put a papel de aluminio, a potato, <laughs> patatas, patatas al horno, papas al horno, patatas al horno, el aluminio, puro aceite, ok, entonces nos falta el desserts, desserts, mm -hmm. uh, yes. cheesecake, cheesecake. Okay. Uh, ice cream. Yeah, yes, sir. Cheesecake. Ice cream. Cheesecake. Uh, frozen. Frozen. Uh, uh, frozen uh, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a drink. Oh, frozen. Uh, a drink. Uh, it's, it's a drink. Uh, it's a drink. Ice cream. Ice cream. It's, uh, brownies. Teacher. How do you Me say minuta? Minuta. <laughs> eh. minuta um, is a. Uh, uh, yeah. What? I, I know. I, 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 but uh, let me see. Minutas are El Salvadorian, right? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ras, so, raspados. Snowy. Raspados. Snowy. Snowy. Snow. Snowy. Uh -huh. Snow. Ah, okay. Let me see. Ball of snow. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. In this case, because they are uh, like the the proper name, el nombre propio, right, is uh, from El Salvador, they don't have translation. But if you want to give a translation, um, 
Let me see. There's a breath. It's snowy. Let me see. Mm, snowy is like uh, when they stand nevando, right? In a place that is 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 snowy. But uh, uh -huh. let me double check. Mm, it doesn't have translation. It will be like uh minutas. Minutas. Mm -hmm. okay. We have to invent the names too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wall of snow. You can say minutas. And what you can uh, translate maybe is the flavor. Mm -hmm. It says minutas are Salvadorian, prepared with crushed ice. Like means like crushed, like uh, como molido, no? Raspado, uh huh. Yellow raspado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they that doesn't have a translation. Okay. It is a it is like a dessert. Okay. A dessert. Almost ready, guys, or do you need more time? Sure. We're almost almost the, ready. The just drink. Just, the, the drink. Just, we miss yes. the beverage. We miss okay. the beverage. I will give you another two or three minutes. Okay, 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 okay teacher. Okay. 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 Let's continue. Una bebida no falta, verdad? Sí, sobre eso. Ah, beverage. Ah, uh, um, the beverage. Robert, are you there or is still having issues? Hello, teacher. I have a problem with my internet because it's raining here. It's still raining. Yeah, but right now it's lovely. Mm, okay, I understand. Don't worry. You will be just like a listener. Okay, what is the activity for, for right now? They are uh, working on a menu for a restaurant, and they are okay. going to they are going to present like a different kind of food, beverage, desserts, snacks, appetizers, drinks, and everything. Oh. Right. Okay, teacher, I get it. Right now, mm -hmm. I work in that. Okay, Rodrigo. You, yes, it's okay. Rodrigo, are you there? I think so, he's listening. Mm -hmm. mm, it's okay. 
So in two minutes, we're going to, we are going to, um, yeah, close all the rooms. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Welcome back. Okay. Um Miss is all Okay. All students are back? Yes. Good. Okay. So we are going to start with the rule number 1. Uh, at the end, we're going to have uh, um, judges here. Vamos a tener eh, jueces, okay? Who will um, choose the best restaurant, the best menu, okay? Uh, 
Room number one is Andres, Carlos, and Daniela. Okay, tell me the name of the restaurant and what is your uh, menu. Okay, teacher. Uh, the name of the restaurant is uh, Lower the City. And let's talk about our menu. Andres, is your turn, please? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. So I'm going to start. This, the appetizers in our menu are first garlic bread that has a price of $2 with 10 cents. <laughs> Green salad, if you want. Uh, it's la, the price is $2 with 90 cents. Grilled mushrooms vegetable soups, onion rigs, pasta salad, Cornish pasty, and chicken wings. Wow. Yeah. Appetizers. Okay, the good. last ones, the price are $3. $3. <laughs> okay, $3. that is good. <laughs> yeah. And from the, from, if you want, if you don't, uh, if you want before, late or later of this appetizer, you can order um, different um, snacks with mm -hmm. your friends and your family. For example, if you want a piece of pizza, if you want a, a, a fish a, a fish hamburger or a different potato chips or a corn snacks. Okay, it sounds delicious. Yes, teacher. The, the snacks, the, the price are... Uh, to the, uh, no, no, no. it's like um, Ronda teacher, <laughs> more Ronda. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I wanna say like uh, the price are uh, to one dollar to three dollars. Around. Around yes teacher. Around one dollar to three dollars. To three dollars. Yes. Okay, but uh, they they are they have a good price affordable for people in El Salvador. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> for uh, a salary oh my, that my. we receive. <laughs> yeah, the salary we receive everyone. <laughs> okay, okay, Carlos, you can follow with the menu. Okay. Uh, we recommend you to eat uh, the main courses. For example, spaghetti that very, very nice. Uh, food and then would be meatloaf or grilled chicken and lasagna is, is, is like very good food mm -hmm. and a steak or lamb chop. The last one is value to nine twenty cents. Um, oh, need teacher. Okay, they are the main uh curses the main dishes right yes yes of course okay good daniela please okay we have you for dessert apple pie mm -hmm. and blackberry pie pumpkin pie chocolate cake ice cream fruit salad and sorry and drinks, mineral water, Coke, Fanta, Sprite, use orange, blackberry, tea, coffee, layer beer, ale beer, wine glass, wine bottle. Oh, okay. A variety of beverage. <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> teacher, excuse me, what's mean uh, ledger beer? Ledger beers? Uh huh, ledger beer. She's is talking about. Um... Yeah, it's, uh, it's talking about the color of the beer. Maybe dark or the or more clear, I don't know. Mm. I There's guess a, it's like at the size of the of the beer. There's a lot of. Ah, it's a style. 
The cerveza style. rubia. Ajá, the style. Yeah, it's like ah, a the style. style. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Cerveza más clara o es la más clara, me imagino. Y está la cerveza oscura, creo. Uh -huh. Correct, okay. the types of the beers. Okay, good, thank you. Okay. Do you have a favorite, Carlos? Yes, sure, maybe. Uh, the, the Pilsner beer. Yes. Okay. You support our uh, country. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> okay. the, the other country maybe could be um uh, yeah, I don't know how to say this. Um uh, maybe Corona is could be, right? That is from Mexico. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. With okay. a piece of lemon. <laughs> <laughs> like a okay. Toretto. Okay, good. Well thank you. Thank you guys. Very good job here. Okay, rule number two ways Gilberto, Julio, and Maria. Take your time, okay, to, ex to explain what you have done, what is the name of the restaurant, and all the categories in the menu. All right. The name of the restaurant, uh, delicious and cheaper. Welcome. Delicious and shippers. Yes. What is the other word? I'm sorry. The category. Uh, mm -hmm. Appetizer. Appetizers. Appetizer. Uh, cheese, pepperon. So can. And guacamole, eh, okay. crispy, free, toasty, and garlic. Okay. Eh, and key classes, cheeseburger. And grilled chicken. Lettuce, tomato. Grilled chicken, lettuce, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. You are talking about the appetizers at this moment, or which category is that, is that one? Okay. Which Maria category is that we're talking about Appetizers. Appetizers. Okay. Okay. A snack. <clears throat> Uh, chicken wings, uh -huh. a choice of buffalo, uh, onion rings, crunch, buttered onion rings, served with a zesty dipping sauce, sauce, salsa, sauce, sauce, okay, and main course. Uh, in cheeseburger, chicken curry with rice, and egg salad. Egg salad. Egg, egg salad. That egg is salad. like a main, main uh, course. What? Right? That is like a main course, like a main dish. Plato principal. Uh, chicken curry with rice. Mm -hmm. Okay. In addition, egg salad. Okay. 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 Thank mm. you. Maria Leticia, what else do you have? El, ¿cómo llama el compañero otro? <laughs> Julio. 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 Mm. Hi, teacher. Um... I talk about uh, the category of desserts. Desserts, uh -huh. desserts. Uh, uh, we have very perfect, 
is a lawyers of vanilla yogurt, mixed berries, and granola. And about drinks, um, clay, a uh, classic mi classic milkshake, um, with vanilla, chocolate, or or, or a strawberry. Um, also, I said coffee. Uh, Chile coffee with your choice of cream and sweetener. In um, in, in drinks, also we have the fruit smoothies. Uh, it's a blend of your favorite fruits uh, with yogurt or coconut milk. Wow. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it, for me, is um, in drinks. Uh, I chose uh, fruit smoothies. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much is that? For how? What is? What are the prices there? <laughs> it is expensive or cheap. Cheap. Okay. Okay, if I want to take a um breakfast there, how how much do you think that I will spend? Uh for a breakfast. Yes. Um, maybe it's not, we don't have to breakfast, but in the main course, uh, we have um, a class, a classic cheeseburger. Oh, okay. It doesn't have breakfast, just lunches and dinners. Yeah, it's for dinner. Oh, okay, okay. So if I want to take a dinner, I want to, um, how much do you think that will be? How much? How much? Uh huh. I need to prepare to go to your restaurant. Uh, sorry, teacher. I under I don't understand. How much money do I need to have in my pocket? In my in my. Ah, uh, how much possession? Money? Uh -huh, how much money? With uh, with uh twenty dollar for two people. Twenty dollars for two people. Yeah. Okay. Ten dollars. Okay. Ten dollars. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, uh, Mauricio Benavides, Mauricio Buruca, and Rolando. Okay. Uh, we're. For restaurants, it's called cualquier lado. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, on an appetizer, we have nachos, breadsticks, chicken fingers, and tortilla soup. Chicken fingers? Oh. Yeah. Okay. How much is that? An average is... Uh, Two fifty. Okay. That are the appetizers. Okay. What else do you have? It's on the menu on, on the group. What do you have for a snack? Soup sandwich, turkey sandwich, hot dogs, croissant, and French fries. Oh, good. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, your classmates. What do you have, Mauricio uh, Buruca, for main courses? Mandé el... Okay. Eh, lo mandé al grupo. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, this is a... Uh... Fast food restaurant. Oh, it is. It is a fast food restaurant. Yeah, okay. it's a fast food restaurant, teacher. 
Uh, we have a uh, hamburgers. Uh huh. Uh, we have a uh, pizza. And we have a uh, pupusas too. And uh, we have a. Uh, that chicken and tacos. Uh, chicken, chicken fried. Oh, it is a combination there. All the fast food yeah. restaurants, right? Yes. Good. It's just a fast food restaurant. Okay. That's the main dishes. Okay. Good. What What do you have for dessert? Well, for dessert, we have uh, ice cream. We have a uh, cheesecake. Mm -hmm. and brownie minuta and spanish churros uh minutas and spanish churros okay yes it is in the whatsapp group if you want to, to check it guys good okay that's all okay uh rolando, uh, rolando. are you there rolando Hey, teacher. Uh, drinks. Uh, two drinks. Um, it's coca. Uh -huh, it's coca. Uh, tea, beers, uh, white, and lemons. Lemonade. Lemonade. Uh, michelada. Uh -huh. Coffee. Water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, the uh, ginger tea. Ginger tea too. Okay. Yeah. So Rolando, go... do you do you have a tequila, Rolando? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not tequila. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There is no Michelada. tequila there. I had yeah. to drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> but we have we have michelada with with natural natural and imported beer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, okay. that was really good. Um, tell me. Let me see. Robert, are you there, Robert? Roberto. Yes. Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay. I am you here. Didn't, okay, you didn't work for in any group. So I will ask you. So what what do you think that is the best restaurant to go? Okay, I think so. The old restaurant uh, this night is very good. Um for me, I like the menu of Carlos. It's it's very good. But I think so the different dishes this night uh, you can you can talk about it is is very nice and I think um, I like it to to try the different di different food dishes food dishes okay yes all of them sounds that have um delicious food yeah mm -hmm. so you will be hungry <laughs> me too <laughs> you will be <laughs> successful if you, if you open your restaurant guys so let us know when you open your restaurant <laughs> okay very good good job so i like it so i like it because you um practice okay you practice vocabulary pronunciation and everything okay um so let me let me work now in the activity homework number three. So you can prepare your platform. We'll give you some minutes. The chair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi, Toby. Uh, only mention it. There is a food dish is I think is Salvadorian. is is very delicious, and is rice 
rice pudding. Oh, okay. Where have you yeah. tasted? Yeah, it's delicious. Arroz con leche. Where did uh oh <clears throat> so that can be done in in your house, right? Yes. But there are there are some restaurants that they have it too. Yeah. Okay. What it's are the typical. ingredients? Oh. What are the ingredients that you usually add it if you if you do it like a recipe? For rice pudding. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need different ingredients. Um, first, you need to buy rice and milk mm -hmm. and sugar and, and other species. I think so. Gilberto, no, the <laughs> name is canela. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for, for prepare the, the rice pudding, first, you can you can put water in a bowl in the stove. After that, you can add the the rice and and milk, and you you can add sugar. Sugar depends on your your tasting, mm -hmm. and it's easy to prepare. In in for me, it's very delicious. You you can prepare in in your house for breakfast, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is like a name. Cinnamon. Okay. okay. Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that you remember me that, I have a lot of years that I don't eat that. I will try to do it. Yes. I like to cook. I remember that my mom used to cook it when I was a child. But I, I don't I don't remember when was the last time that I that I taste it <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> okay uh at, fa uh, at final of course i i prepare the rice pudding for everyone okay <laughs> we record <laughs> it's difficult to have a meeting but we we should have a meeting in a park it yes, yes. It would be great. Mm -hmm. I understand. I share the, the photo at the group. Okay. Okay, guys. So go to the pay to the homework 1.5. Okay. 1.5. That is the one that we are going to do today. So let me see the pictures that you got that you shared. Oh, not yet. So 1.5. It is a portion of food often smaller than regular meal, generally eaten between meals. What is that? Sorry. Snack. Snack. Because it's Snack. eaten between meals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entre comidas. Okay. The principal dish of a meal. Main courses. Main courses. Main courses. Makers, flavored beverage, drinks, drinks, drinks. The sweet curse eaten at the end of a meal. Dessert. Dessert. Okay, good. Dessert. It's not dessert. It's dessert. Oh, I'm going to let you know the difference between them. Okay. A small dish served as the first part of a meal. Starter. 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 Okay. Submit it. There you have it. Yes. Very good. Now you have three homework done. Okay, look at this.
Dessert. 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 This is the first one. Dessert. Just with, it, it has two S. Tiene dos S. Luego el otro tiene solo una S. Deserts. Desert. 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 Okay. Desert yes. and desert. desert. Sound similar, but they, they have different definitions. Okay. I like I like it dessert. Mm -hmm. Dessert Correct. is a sweet treat or dish usually served at the end of the meal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And deserts. Desert can be used as a noun that refers to a dry and barren land. You know what? You, you know what is that, right? El desierto. Deserts. Desert. 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 One, one, one S. One S. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I get it. Desert. Deserts. Desert. Desert. Mm -hmm. Desert. And desserts. And desserts. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, there are some words that they are similar, but they are not the same. Pronunciation is different. In this one, we have a, a letter S that is um the difference also in spelling, right? But there are okay. other words that they have um almost the same spelling, right? like this or maybe they have the same spelling but they sound different okay for example the bear this is just an example the bird read in the present right read in the past red red read mm -hmm. okay. red how are you doing with the past tense guys Are you uh, trying to review, to to study the past tense? Yes. Yes? yes. Remember regular, that? The regular verbs. Uh-huh. The regular and irregular verbs. Try to, try to study them, okay? Don't overwhelm yourself. Uh, try to study two or three verbs or memorize, right? Two or three verbs during the day. Or new vocabulary also. Two or three words during the date. One um, technique or a strategy that worked for me when I was uh, at the basic level or intermediate was um, writing the words in sticky notes like this. Look at this. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Sticky note. I'll write the word here and you can paste that sticky note in front of your bed or in the kitchen, any place. For example, the place that you usually used to be uh, uh, more time during the day. So and that will help you to memorize. If there is one word that is difficult for you to memorize the spelling, so that will help you to memorize the spelling. Okay? Okay. It's a okay. good idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for your attendance today. Uh, that is everything for today. So tomorrow we are going to continue. For tomorrow we have a different grammar topic. Okay? Um, okay. Be on time. And see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good you night. Good 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 night.